The president of the St. Lucia Medical and Dental Association, Dr. Merle Clark, has again sounded the alarm against creeping complacency as it relates to the COVID-19 situation. The number of active COVID-19 cases has plummeted from a high of about 2,400 at the peak of the fourth wave to hovering about the 150 mark. Dr. Clark says the sharp decline in active COVID-19 cases should not be a reason to throw caution to the wind. St. Lucia and the medical community in particular, the SLMDA president warns, just cannot afford another wave. We need to not be naive about this entire thing. St. Lucians have not had um, a Christmas as such as we know it for, well, they did not have it last year, nor did they have New Year's. The usual festivities were not had. And if what happened outside Parliament on Tuesday is any indication, I think we know that even though the protocols may be more rigid, St. Lucians may not comply. And what that may do is put us back in a place where we have another wave. Our members, our nursing colleagues cannot mentally or physically afford another wave like the deadly fourth wave that we just had. Solutions need to get vaccinated. We need to find a way to get our numbers up. Only 24% is far from adequate and we simply need to do better. Dr. Clark says despite the undeniable progress in stemming the tide of COVID-19 infections, St. Lucia remains vulnerable to another flood of cases given the low vaccination rate and the failure to strictly adhere to the protocols. COVID-19 has taught us many things. Among those is that it's very easy for the numbers to go back up and it does not take many people. It really just takes one index case to start an outbreak. We've been through a lot the past 20 months. We need to start to move on. This is also very telling um, and perhaps a reflection of what is to come um, towards the end of the year for the holiday season. And we do believe, again, uh, this is a call to action for our policymakers to make decisive decisions. They may be hard decisions, but decisive decisions when it comes to vaccination. With the festive season effectively upon us, those at the front line of the fight to control the COVID-19 disease, fresh from the painful fourth wave, are growing increasingly concerned about the possibility of a fifth wave. That concern was further fueled by the reckless behavior on display outside Parliament on Tuesday. Stanley Lucien for the HSU's Voice.